Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. And now on with the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And I am not Starfire is worse, worse than we could have possibly imagined. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna talk about DC Comics upcoming YA graphic novel. I am not Starfire. A lot of people are calling her Dump Starfire. Yes. Mandy, yeah, so. It's about uh, Starfire's gothy, gay, frumpy, dumpy teen daughter and uh, her her teen angst and rebelling against her uh, pretty supermodel mom. Mm -hmm. And uh, the language is is much worse than we thought it was going to be. Oh, Squid King saw it, and he's like, she's just like, she's unlikable. He's like, she's like, everybody, there's people trying to be nice to her, and he's, she's just a bitch to everyone. That's what my son said. My son, who would probably be the target audience. She's a bitch to everyone. Your son would Well, be no, a... I mean the age range. <laughs> the age range, yeah. It's supposed to be for- Not him. There, no, 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 no. that. His age range would be the target audience. And he's like, she's just an unsufferable bitch, you know? And he didn't say it that way. He was nicer. I use the term bitch. Uh, this is supposed to be for young to, to mid teens. And there are lots of F bombs, uh, lots of. Uh, and she just never says sorry, mom. She never says sorry, she mom. She never says that. That'll be a sequel. Sorry, mom. I am not sorry, mom. That's, uh, that's my book. <laughs> that's your book. I am I'm not, not sorry, sorry, mom. mom. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over. 220,000, 221? Yay! I don't know where we're at. I don't know where we're at either. I didn't check today, but yay! Yeah, this weekend's been crazy. Uh, lots of non-comic book related drama going on. Uh, but thank you so much for the support. For those of you who are new, uh, we do cover pop culture. We cover comics, we cover animation, uh, we cover whatever interests us that day. We've been covering the I Am Not Starfire debacle this is a, a YA graphic novel by DC Comics because somehow they think YA graphic novels are going to save their asses. And not only that, they think bad YA graphic novels are going to save their asses. Yeah, this is a very off-brand book. And now I understand if you have a self-contained graphic novel, you can get away with a little bit more uh, than you could in a, a mainline DC book. But, you know, people pointed out that Starfire and Nightwing had a daughter in another timeline uh, but she was too nice and too pretty. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So we need the the bitchy, ugly daughter, right? Because you know that th th this is this is this is slamming on the patriarchy right here. <laughs> this is uh, people were joking. They said, "Would Starfire have a fling with uh, Danny DeVito's penguin?" Or what? The, <laughs> I've seen what the that. hell happened and, here? And I saw somebody else mentioned that that wouldn't have happened because he's too orderly. <sighs> All right. So this this Twitter thread. Thank you to Exalted Speed Contract, Exalted Speed Contract, who. Got a hold of the book. Suffered through it so we don't Suffering have to. Suffering through it so we don't have to. So definitely give them a follow on, on Twitter. So here we go and start. Let's see if this is the worst or if I like something. All my life, I've been the kid of a superhero. So she she did have she did have uh, ginger hair back in the day. Okay. Uh, Exalt Speed Contract says, I really do wish they gave her more uh, visual indicators of being related. I wish they kept the orange skin. Um, this is because one thing that, you know, she would be upset about, she couldn't change. Um, yeah, that makes, because if, if it's about accepting who you are, that would make more sense. I want to know why that, okay, so she has sparkly diamond things on her skin, so she has to have the spots on hers. I don't know. She's got, I mean, as a freckled woman, I mean, I'm not, you know, making fun of her. I'm just was wondering if that's why they did that. So it's have skinny puppy, it's skinny poppy. Uh, the anti-starfire, Mandy, mom. <laughs> Mom. That's perfect. Superhero from Planet Tamaran, able to fly and shoot star bolts, always wearing bikinis because she can absorb ultraviolet radiation from the sun because she loves them. Mom. Regular kid from Metropolis, can't fly or shoot anything except her mouth. Let's shoot off, but yes. Doesn't own a bathing suit. Here's the yeah, I don't like wearing bathing suits either. As a chunky girl, I get it. Oh my God. Although my mom has stopped talking to me about my appearance. Oh, so she was riding her about her appearance. Do you have any homework? Yeah. Okay. 
Night, Mom. I'm gonna eat the cookies. Yeah, right. I'm gonna yeah. eat them. <laughs> what the hell? She has, I know. They had the, I guess they make the, the food thing. Because, you know, if you're fat, it's just because you eat cookies all the time. She hasn't liked how I look since I was 12. She wears less than a yard of fabric to work every day, yet somehow I'm the one who's dressing weird. So we have to body shame Starfire. So the point is, you don't body shame her, you body shame Starfire. Are you eating the cookies? Are you putting them in the, your mouth? Why are you eating the cookies? They make you fat. I know. To be fair, Star, I'm not Starfire. Mandy. To be fair, Mandy, I have problems with the cookies too. It's, it's a real, it's a real problem. Anyway, <sighs> is Mandy rich? Because the book treats Star as a superhero celebrity, so you think Mandy would not have the debt issues and other kids uh, effing have coming from her background. Um, a college education is the next step toward being in debt for the rest of my life. Mandy, look, this idea that everyone has to do the same thing to get ahead is a scam. It's nothing. You know, to be fair, I don't completely disagree with that. I don't completely that. disagree. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I don't completely disagree with that. Side, side story, side tangent. Several years ago, I was talking to a potential employer who was just musing about how he made sure that, because uh, a job didn't require a degree. And he was telling me, he's like, oh, I only hire college graduates because I want them in debt. Because if they're in debt, they're not going to quit on me. I'm like, well, what kind of a hellhole operation do you have here that people are apparently quitting on you all the time and you want to make sure they're in debt? You know, anyway, side story. So... Yeah, yeah, I do think, you know, college isn't necessarily for everyone. And, you know, but the whole, you know, and the debt thing is a problem. I mean, kids come out of school and they owe, the cost of college has gone through the roof. And the kids will come out of school owing tons of money. I still owe money when I went to college. So, you know, I can understand why she doesn't want to do that. But yeah, as a daughter of a superhero, you'd think that they'd have a college fund for that? You would think. Like the, the, the Justice League has a setup or something. Yeah, you know. Come on, Bruce Wayne. Come on, you call up, you know, I mean, she was banging Nightwing, right? So Nightwing can make a call to, to Grandpa Bruce and be like, hey. Grandpa Bruce. <laughs> no, they call him actually the other daughter she had. I, I read some pages from another book. She she actually, they call him Grandpa Bruce. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, see, I Daddy didn't read Daddy Warbucks. That. Daddy Warbucks. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. It's like, no, Grandpa Bruce can't. I think she's more interested in Daddy Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I got to dunk my cookies. Um, so Exalted Speed Contract says, yeah, the art's good. They like the art. Now, for a different book, I think, yeah, maybe, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> One problem with trying to find the positives. One problem with the story right away is how relatable Mandy's supposed to be, since there's just, uh, uh, just like you, Angle, but she also has a knife life that she can't appreciate. Well, yeah, that's what, that's what Skooking said. He kept saying, it's like people are nice to her and she's just a, a, a jerk to everyone. Brief history of what it's like to go to school in your mama's Starfire, where no one believes you don't have powers, but you don't. Fly, fly, fly. Where even after several years of no powers, kids continue to believe you're a super-powered liar and an undercover something. I heard she can, she can cry fire. Cry yeah, fire. You know, this this makes sense. I mean, th this would be some kids are kids are assholes. Um, I remember being in elementary school. I remember, you know, being a teacher. And kids can be total jerks. Yeah. Oh, wait. So Starfire doesn't even know who the dad is. Your your mother's known Nightwing for more than 20 years. He could totally be your dad. Or could be based. It's not based. Where the most annoying uh, of students form a titan groupie club and do research so they can ask annoying and invasive questions. So wait. Yes, that's so relatable. I hated it when oh I was in school God. and they, they, they started a superhero club to harass me about. Yeah. We'll be working in groups of two. And since you all insist on choosing the same groups every time, I've set up your groups myself. Well, that does happen. Yes, that does happen. It does happen. I can't blame her for that. It does happen. I mean, I'm assuming there's no way it's worse than high school. Ha ha ha. That was spectacular. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. But there's Starfire being Starfire. You know, we mm -hmm. got Beast Boy, Raven. So this is clearly based more on the animated version of, of uh, Teen Titans, except Starfire's sluttier. Apparently. She's sluttier in this. She is kind of slutty in the comics. I mean, she is. But God, my mom is so quirky like the cartoon. Yeah, that's what this is based more on. 
Where's your mom? She's busy. Oh, birthday present, a tamarind gift of wet bread. Did not go over well. That's like Amish friendship bread. The Amish friendship bread's a good gift. It is a good gift. It's for friends yeah, yeah, they, who it, like bread and Amish it's, it's, cuisine. It's, to explain it really quickly, it's they, they have a bread start. I don't know what else to call it. It's like a dough goop. It's like a bag and, of goo. And you put it in a bag and you let it sit for like so many days and then you divide it into other bags, add some stuff to it. And then you divide it into other bags and you give it away to your friends. And then you, you bake one of the starts and then keep the other start going. It really kind of sounds kind of gross, but it's actually very, very, very good, surprisingly. Anyway. Okay, this 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 is great. I know there's irony in her being attracted to a girl who is like her mother, but I'm going to ruin this for you all and say, this shit gives a weirdo fucking incest vibe. You're welcome. Uh, I mean, what if it, instead of like mental illness, which is kind of a messed up way of just putting it, we just do Ophelia, like write about her, like a new interpretation. Yeah, like I feel the play would be better if Ophelia was written by a woman. Where... Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry. For crap's sakes. So they're talking about Ophelia. They're talking about Ophelia, and she's like her mom. Okay, that could be the assignment, right? If we like just rewrite her scenes with Hamlet. Uh, yeah. So she's all like Hamlet. You're a whining asshole, and I'm too good for you. And Hamlet's all like, "But my life is so hard. You need to give me all your emotional resources." Right. Oh my God. Okay. Ding dong. Ding dong. That that sums it up. Oh, Mandy, what did you have for dinner? I just had pizza. I'm going to eat food anyway because I'm a fat girl, and that's all that's fat right, girls do is know, eat. We're going to stereotype the fat girl. That's like every 80s movie. When they have a fat kid in the 80s movie, all the jokes revolve around the fat kid being fat. Fat kid stuff in their face. Yeah. Fat kid. Maybe the fat kid has a glandular disorder. Mm -hmm. Maybe the fat kid just doesn't exercise enough, but the fat kid doesn't eat all the time. I'm just putting it out yeah. there. Or the fat kid just, when the fat kid does eat, the fat kid just eats really, really bad things. Yeah, that, that's more like what happens. Because that could make you fat too. You don't yeah. have to eat a lot of it. But if you eat cheesecake every day, you're probably, cheesecake and lasagna for every meal three you're times a day. You're probably going to get fat. You're anyway, probably going to get fat. That's probably more like fast food and, and chips and stuff like that because it's quick and easy. Anyway, continue. I thought you said you had the pizza. I did. But I'm fat, so I gotta <laughs> eat some more food, Mom. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, your mom put some bad guys away today. Call. Mandy is an astounding student. Oh, yeah? Where are you planning on going to college? Not sure. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good night. Mandy. Oh, my God. Mandy. But her mom's proud of her, and she's trying to brag about her, and then she's just, like, being such a coward, our mom. That guy is clearly a douchebag, and I ran out of my SAT because I'm not going to college. Okay, have fun with the homework. Yeah. See? Good night. Night, Mom. Her mom probably doesn't know what to do. Mandy gives off creeper vibes. <laughs> Jeez, God. Uh, it's a metaphor here, but it's hard to spot. Why is she riding a ducky bouncer? Okay. Oh, they had those. They had those things in the park when I took so Squid it's like King. Aliens don't go to college. Yeah, like aliens don't go to college. So wait, that's the mean mean kids picking on her. I think so. That's not prejudice. That's just me getting trying to get information. I understand. No, Deb. They we don't go to college. We undergo an initiation. Okay. An initiation. I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat some more cupcakes. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna eat some beaver, but that's okay. Oh, my God. That's the initiation. Well, that's one hell of a... See, they, make, they do have a way to make her look as unattractive and frumpy and dumpy as possible. Look at my skirt so you can see how big my ass is from all the cupcakes and pizza that I'm eating because I'm fat, and that's all fat kids ever and do. And that's my identifier. That's my identity as being fat. I'm fat fat and, and, I, and down with the patriarchy. What is going to kill the book? Yeah, this is the first fucking book. Yeah, there are a lot of... A lot of f bombs in this book, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna read these f bombs. So just, just so if your ears are bleeding, I'm sorry. Mom, turn it off now. <laughs> I told you she was weird. What the fuck? That's a different girl. She's a, that's me. They all sound the same. What the fuck? And this is the one. This is the one that was out there. It's like, why are you digging into my life all of a sudden? You can be Starfire. Oh. 
Because that is what the responsible parents do. Now it's the not. Fuck the uh, off. <laughs> oh, we get there. We get there. So this is this is Dick Grayson. That's sad dick. This is this is a uh, crinkly dick. He needs moisturizer. <laughs> he looks like one of the Baldwins. Well, aren't they all kind of crinkly until no <laughs> Baldwins. 60 more pages for Starfire to get a little depth. Now there's a hundred more. Do I have to read all of these? I just, it's a train wreck. I don't actually know anything about how people on my mother's home planet, my motherland, celebrate birthdays, if they even have birthdays, since they probably don't have regular Earth years. My mom has never celebrated her birthday. I don't even know when it is or how old she is. Well, probably because you don't give a shit about her and you don't ask her any no. questions. And she celebrates yours and she's very proud of you and bragging about you to people. And she's actually quite being a good mom and you're being quite a little bitch. And I understand you could be in, t in high school, you can get a little bit nasty with your parents, but this woman takes a taco. Literally takes a taco. Anyway. So does Mandy. She takes the tacos. She takes the cupcakes. She takes the pizza. I wasn't referring to that taco, but anyway. She does take the taco. Yeah. They snacks her for my guest. If there's any left. Hey, Mandy, jazz hands. What the? Oh my the God, Mandy. Hell? <laughs> um, wow. Someone's aware of the Nightwing audience. <laughs> yeah. They, they got it right from like the waist down. I'm just going to be standing over here with my pal, my pal Beast Boy, Beast Man, Beast, with my ass cheeks flexing. Yeah, for no reason. Suggestive. Dear Lord, she comes off like a lesbian incel. I've never had a girlfriend. She's a les -cell. I don't want Mandy to be <laughs> happy ever. Uh, you said she was a lawyer. As not a total lie. She does like justice. Oh my God! Baby, we, we live this. This happens. This this does happen. This happens. Oh my gosh. Okay, real quick story. Um, so. We've always been doing things like comics and we did stuff for like the Disney blogs and all that. We And used to do Disney art and all that kind of stuff. Well, Squid King would go to school and he was young enough that, and then I have a Star Wars character named after me and all that kind of stuff. He goes to school and he's mentioned this stuff. Like he was young enough that he was like, you know, like, oh, I'll just tell people this, you know, they'll think I'm cool, you know. And he would tell them this and they all thought he was lying. And it got so bad that when people asked him what his parents did, he just started telling them we were accountants. Both of them. And we found out about after the fact. Um, he probably had some explaining to do when his mom showed up at the school teaching and stuff like that. But he told the kids because he got tired. They asked what his parents did. Um, he just, he didn't tell them anymore because they didn't believe him. It's hard to so, explain. So he just said they're accountants. Yeah. So that one actually does happen because not that we're nowhere near a superhero level. But in this small town, we were doing something that was unusual enough that would, you know, kids would question the, the validity, even though he was not lying. So he just told them we were accountants. God, dear Lord, the, this is such a misfire. It's actually hard to read because it gets to the point you wish Mandy would do something rather than be passive. Needs work and boy, it's a hard read. You're being kind of a dick about this. Ah, you should be used to it by now. Your life is full of dicks. Why? Because she told she was, you know, like boys or something? I don't know. <laughs> is that what she said? That like you like? Why else would you say your life is full of dicks? Ah, my mom's full of life is full of dicks too. We just don't know which one. <laughs> it's like she's flipping her off. Like this is like the most unlikable character in all of comics right now. Um, this is a story that should have been told from Star's, Starfire's perspective. Concerning the cursing and everything else, I feel like story really should have been a mom story about learning from her kids because Mandy is the roadblock to make this work. Um, Starfire, it's not life and death for you. You're not lucky. Uh, does you are not lucky as not, but that does not mean I you do not Starfire. have the duty to be the best you can be. Yeah, see, she's the nice mom. That's all my mom always said. She's like, just do the best you can. She's like, you don't have to be perfect, just do your best. Um... I don't know. I don't even want to read it. It's just like a pain. Oh, yeah. It pains me. So apparently they end up getting kidnapped. You know, yeah. Oh, Black fires in this one. Yeah. So um, they, they, they get her mom, they get Starfire. And I, I'm just like, you know how we just kind of gave up halfway through. We're like, this yeah. just gets worse and worse. Um, I have a, I have a problem with her design. I have a problem with her design. She looks terrible. Some of the, some of the art's not bad. This just doesn't seem like the right kind of book for, 
not a young, not for mm -hmm. like a you know, YA, like they're probably pushing some, you know, they will not make it to book fairs. I can tell you right now, the language will keep it out of getting to the, to the schools and stuff like that. Mandy, my sweet girl. What? You're so like me. No, do not make the same mistakes. Do not run from your fear. Wait, is she dead? Did they kill Starfire? No, they don't kill her, but I don't think. But here's the thing. Why isn't she talking like Starfire? Do you notice that they, they a couple times had her talk like Starfire? But they mostly can't it, was decide. Just, it was just Mandy making fun of her more than anything. It wasn't yeah. Starfire was not talking like Starfire. It's I mean, this is clearly based somewhat off the animated version of Starfire, but um here this is gonna yeah, this is what's gonna keep it out of the book, the book fairs. Why don't you just fuck off and die? Fuck off. Okay, you can change it now. You just like got where Quiet all of a sudden. I don't even know what to say. Like this is beyond parody. Like this is Yeah, she gets powers, of course, and you know, but they said she's Spoiler. She Spoiler. But oh, so now wait, and now she's gonna be happy in life because she has powers? Well, it sounds to me like she was never happy with who she was. And then when she gets powers, then suddenly she accepts herself. Isn't that the wrong message? Yeah. Because in real reality, if you're trying to, you know, be like, hey, you might be, you know, an outcast for this reason or that reason or whatever, you know, you should be accept, you should accept yourself, and that's how you'll find true happiness. But she doesn't accept herself until she effing gets powers. <sighs> yeah. And then suddenly she's okay with her mom and everything else. Yeah. So Raven's gonna teach her. Uh, boom, lesbians. That's nice. Okay, moving on. I thought she was full of dicks. Ew, it's very possible I could have melted Claire's face off. <sighs> Just like mom. <laughs> and now at the end, she's... Oh, she's changing her hair. She's letting, the, she's letting her hair grow. Her red go back out. And, and, and then, but you know, now she likes, she likes who she is. Because she has powers. So basically, you just the, the whole moral of the story is not accept yourself. It's, you know, hate everything, be a bitch. Until you get powers. And then you're just becoming yourself. And then then life's good. It should just be you, she accepted herself however she was. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now, but because of course you're going to feel better about yourself. You have effing powers. Oh, God. I just, I. Uh, okay, so they wrap it up with, they said the book uh, is going to be bad for most people. They get it. It's not a project. <laughs> It was uh, it probably sounded good on paper. And for various reasons, it doesn't work. She goes, yeah, most of her weaknesses, and this is from somebody who has most of her books, her graphic novels are slow and often meander till the end. This causes you to spend the entire time with a snot-nosed brat who won't learn a lesson until page 130. And who happens to look just like her. They should just have her get the shit kicked out of her in the first, like, two pages. Like, stop being annoying. Just stop it. Starfire's like... I will slap the shit out of the you. No, she wouldn't say that because they can't. Well, in one page she would. In the next page she talks completely normal. I, I don't know what this is for. I mean, hey, you know what? If it's for you, that's okay. You can like it. Um, as a mom and a teacher, I sure as hell would not buy, buy, be buying this for my kids uh, for many reasons. Yeah. All right. So there it is, guys. Worse than we expected. I don't see it, you know, again in book fairs because of the F multiple multiple f-bombs there were several we actually had before uh there's another panel where she throws the the college brochures out or whatever and she's like ah fuck you yeah know? i know well i was like having to laugh because i was a redhead or i am a redhead and a redhead. i was a chunky redhead and i was an art student too and all that and i never ever ever felt the need to behave or dress like like this character you know, I mean, I could have, and I, I, what's the point? I still was me, but you know, I guess it's rebelling against Starfire. But, you know, she has to go that way, and that's her real self. But I, <sighs> I have nothing against people who look like that. I'm just saying, it's like it it's makes there's it, it doesn't even make sense. It is. It's more of a trope than anything. This is the most memeable comic. This is going to be this this comic right here is, and we've seen some other other DC YA comics that might actually be quasi decent, like the Amethyst one. Look, then you have the Batman one. Yeah, but like between it's like the, that wasn't a decent one. But no, the freaking crazy rich Asians Batman, which mm -hmm. came out and went down the memory hole. Most people forgot it existed. This one's only only big because people were talking about how mocking bad it, it is, yeah. mocking it. So, I'm just like, why can't we have, I mean, I Why can't it. we have nice things? <sighs> I mean, I, I even get why they went the way they did visually and everything to make it so that she's completely opposite her mom. I get that. I get the choices. I just don't know why they made her, I mean, so, uh, you know, because. 
unlikable. Yeah, it's just supposed to be relatable. There's nothing relatable about it. It's just... God, dumpster fire, dumpster fire. Mean Girls, I guess, are what's relatable. Dumpster I, fire. I don't know. I don't know. It might be your thing. If it is, more power to you. It is definitely not our thing, and I burn it with fire. I, I don't see them selling a lot of these, but who knows? People will pick it up just to hate read it. Probably. All right. Or you can go to your library, because I'm sure the libraries will eat this Oh, up. libraries are going to love it. They're going to love so it. Just go to your library and take it out. Okay. So are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. And again, give a, a follow to Exalted Speed, who was kind enough to post these images. To go through it so you didn't have to. So you didn't have to. We'll talk to you later. Bye.